Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain hybrid ring junction that is also known as rat race junction. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you how many points that I'm going to cover in this video. See, first of all, I'll discuss about basics of hybrid ring junction. After that, I'll explain working of hybrid ring junction. After that, I'll derive scattering parameters of hybrid ring junction and at last I'll discuss about applications of hybrid ring junction. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of hybrid ring junction. Hybrid ring junction is also known as rat race junction. Structure of hybrid ring junction is formed using rectangular waveguide. If you observe here we have hybrid ring junction and this waveguide is rectangular waveguide here we are bending rectangular waveguide in form of circle to have hybrid ring junction so hybrid ring junction that is formed using rectangular waveguide where we are bending rectangular waveguide in form of circle length of that circle is 1.5 lambda if you observe this hybrid ring junction from top view then in total four ports are there in between port 1 port 2 port 2 port 3 port 3 port 4 spacing is lambda by 4 and in between port 4 and port 1 spacing is 3 lambda by 4 so in total circle length is 1.5 lambda that is how basic structure is there again the hybrid ring junction structure is based on rectangular waveguide here we are bending rectangular waveguide in form of circle right and length of that circle is 1.5 lambda now one more essential point that you need to understand in its structure see here we have four ports port 1 port 2 port 3 port 4 and these ports are having e type t junction see e type t junction means from broader dimension from broader dimension we are having ports right like you see here we have broader dimension of waveguide and with broader dimension we are having port so as and when you have port with broader dimension then that is e type t junction in e plane t i have explained that in e plane t if you have waveguide like this and if you form junction over here then that junction should be there at broader dimension right so here we have four e type t junctions and from top view those junctions are named as port 1 port 2 port 3 and port 4 here with e type t junction if you observe the characteristic then here if you insert the signal over here then that is equally bisected into two wings that is what the characteristic of E type T junction. If I say here we have power P that we are inserting, then in this wing, ideally power will be P by 2, and in this wing, ideally power will be P by 2. But if you observe here with E type T junction, there is 180 degree phase shift in between these two signals. So here with this signal and with this signal, there is 180 degree phase shift right in between these two signal and that is happening with e type t junction right now i'll explain you how exactly this structure is used see with this structure the port 1 and port 3 that is isolated with each other and this port 2 and port 4 those are isolated with each other means if you give input at port 1 output at port 3 will be 0 and as if you give input at port 2 output at port 4 will be 0 right means 1 3 and 2 4 are isolated with each other and one more essential point that you must know regarding hybrid ring junction that is all ports are perfectly matched ports means return loss at those four ports will be 0 right so that is all about basics of hybrid ring junction now 
I'll explain you working of hybrid ring junction. Hybrid ring junction can be used for a addition and subtraction of two input signals. Let me explain you how. If you observe here we have top U of hybrid ring junction where this is port 1, this is port 2, this is port 3 and this is port 4. Here we apply input at port 1 and at port 3. Output at port 2 is addition of this two signal and output at port 4 that is subtraction of these two input signals. To understand that let me consider this input 1 first and here see with this input 1 signal is bisected in this wing and it will be traveling by how much distance? It will be traveling by distance 3 lambda by 4. So phase of input 1 over here that will be 3 lambda by 4 means it will be 270 degree and input at port 1 that is going in this direction as well. So it will be traveling by how much phase over here? It will be traveling by lambda by 4 distance means phase will be 90 degree. For lambda by 4 phase is 90. Now here if you observe we are applying input 2 and that is applied at port 3. So that is bisected in this wing and it is bisected in this wing. Now here if you observe signal 2 phase over here then that is traveled by distance lambda by 4 means phase will be of 90 degree and over this side it will be traveling by lambda by 4 distance means phase will be of 90 degree. So here at port 2 if you observe we are having equal phase of these two inputs means signal is getting added over here while if you observe port 4 then signal number 2 that is having 90 degree phase and signal number 1 that is having phase of 270 degree means phase in between these two signal that is 180 degree phase difference in between these two signal is 180 degree 180 degree phase difference means there will be subtraction of these two signal right so here what we are doing is we are providing subtraction of these two signals at port 4 and we are having addition of these two signals at port 2 right now i'll explain you derivation of scattering parameters for hybrid ring junction hybrid ring junction is four port device you can observe here we have top view of hybrid ring junction it is four port device with four port device scattering matrix that is having size of 4 cross 4 so in total 16 scattering parameters are there using working and properties of scattering parameters i'll derive values of this scattering parameters so first of all let me explain working See here we have in total four ports. All the ports are perfectly matched ports. Means return loss at port 1, port 2, port 3 and port 4 that is 0. So here scattering parameters like S11, S22, S33 and S44 that is 0. The reason is all ports are perfectly matched ports. So here we have all ports are perfectly matched ports that's why return loss at all ports that is 0 means S11, S22, S33 and S44 that is 0 right. Here second point that you need to understand see this port 1 and port 3 that is isolated with each other and this port 2 and port 4 that is also isolated with each other means if you give input at port 1 output at port 3 will be 0 and vice versa and if you give input at port 2 then output at port 4 will be 0 and vice versa right so here port 1 and port 3 that is isolated with each other and port 2 and port 4 that is isolated with each other so as port 1 and port 3 that is isolated with each other one can say s13 and S31 
that is zero and here we have port two and port four those are isolated with each other means s24 and s42 that is zero right so that is how basic working is there with hybrid ring junction now based on this working let me simplify scattering matrix here if you observe s11 s22 s33 s44 that is zero so instead of these parameters i need to place zero value right and if you observe s13 s31 s24 s42 that is also zero right so now we have scattering matrix that is appearing like this now i'll further simplify this scattering parameters so let me copy this scattering parameters again and with this scattering parameters first of all i'll give input at port 1 if i give input at port 1 then this input that is equally bisected towards port 2 and towards port 4 right here towards port 2 phase difference will be as per lambda by 4 means 90 degree and towards port 4 phase difference will be 270 degree as per 3 lambda by 4 so here magnitude wise signal is equal but phase difference is 180 degree in between these two signals so here scattering parameters that will be s21 that is equals to minus of s41 so here with these elements what i'll do is i'll replace s41 by minus s21 right now what i'll do is i'll apply input at port 2 so if i apply input at port 2 then that input that is equally bisected towards port 3 and towards port 1 if you observe towards port 3 we have phase of 90 degree as per lambda by 4 spacing and towards port 1 phase is 90 degree as per lambda by 4 spacing so here s 1 2 that is equals to s 3 2 right 3 2 means output at 3 input at 2 s 1 2 means output at 1 input at 2 so both of these scattering elements are equal so what i'll do is i'll replace this s 3 2 by s 1 2 now i'll apply input at port 3 so if i apply input at port 3 then that will be equally bisected towards port 2 and towards port 4 and here also spacing is lambda by 4 on both of these sides so phase will be 90 degree means here s23 means input at 3 output at 2 that is equals to s43 means input at 3 and output at 4 so here i'll place this value in the scattering matrix so here we have s43 that i can replace by s23 right now i'll apply input at port 4 so if i apply input at port 4 then that input is equally bisected towards port 3 and towards port 1 but here we have phase of 90 degree and over this side we have phase of 270 degree as per 3 lambda by 4 spacing so here as parameter that will be s 3 4 and s 1 4 relation here this relation is out of phase as per negative sign because of 180 degree phase so here what i'll do is i'll replace these elements over here where this s14 that can be replaced by minus of s34 that is how we can have scattering matrix now using identity property we can find the values of this scattering elements so let us use identity property now one should know identity property means s into s conjugate 
that is equals to identity matrix right here we have s matrix that we have simplified by these values and s matrix into s conjugate that we need to do so here i'll be placing conjugate of each elements you can observe and s into s conjugate that is identity in identity matrix diagonal will be one you can observe here we have identity matrix in which diagonal is unity and other elements are zero so using this identity property now i'll solve these values of scattering elements so first of all what i'll do is i'll apply multiplication of first column into first column so if you multiply first column into first column then here we are performing c1 p1 operation in which we will be having s21 square plus s21 square that is equals to this column into this column means that is 1 so one can say s21 that is 1 by root 2 now i'll multiply second column with second column so here we will be performing c2 p2 operation so this column into this column that is s12 square plus s12 square that is equals to 1 so we'll be having s12 that is equals to 1 by root 2 and now i'll perform third column into third column so we'll be having c3 b3 operation so we'll be getting s 2 3 square plus s 2 3 square that is equals to 1 means s 2 3 is equals to 1 by root 2 and now i'll perform fourth column into fourth column operation so we'll be having c4 p4 operation so we'll be having s 3 4 square plus s 3 4 square that is equals to unity means s 3 4 that is equals to 1 by root 2 so now we have values those are 1 by root 2 in terms of magnitude and these values that i need to place in this scattering matrix so here if you observe all the values are having magnitude of 1 by root 2 right so i need to place 1 by root 2 over here only two elements are having negative value that one can observe here with this element and with this element we have negative value right so this is scattering matrix of hybrid ring junction and using this scattering matrix there are many interesting applications which we have it in microwave engineering the hybrid ring junction that can be used as a duplexer that can be used as a isolator here one should know see this port 1 and port 3 that is isolated with each other and port 2 and port 4 that is also isolated with each other so hybrid ring junction that can be used as an isolator it is also 3db coupler 3db coupler means power is equally divided into two wings one can use it as a power divider and power combiner i have explained that even we can have addition and subtraction of two signals right one can use it as a mixer and for impedance measurement also one can use hybrid ring junction so that is how there are various applications i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything that you would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video